well, I think we should probably wiggle our fingers just a little bit because we're going to be using those to make our butterflies. Busy little finger people, who will help me craft today? I will, I will, I will, I will. All those busy people say. So let me switch my camera and let's go make some butterflies. So this is one of the butterflies. This is one of the ones that we're going to make something that looks like that. And on my sample, I have some yarn. If you don't have any yarn, you could also use some ribbon. I have found a collection of ribbon I hadn't used in a while, and I thought I might use that today. And you might need some scissors and pipe cleaners. If you don't have pipe cleaners, I think you could probably use yarn or ribbon to tie the middle. That would work too. But to start, oh, and a stick. I only have one stick. But you can have as many sticks as you want. And I've got colorful yarn. Oh, no, sorry, colorful wool. So you don't have to have that many colors. But to start, oh, that stick works great, Ayla. She's got a beautiful painted stick. I love that. So to start, we're going to use our wool. Now, this is a very big clump of wool. I want some smaller pieces. I'm going to separate it out and make it long, nice long piece. And I'm going to make it fluffy. Just separating it just a little bit because butterflies are very, very delicate, aren't they? Their wings are almost see-through at times. See how fluffy that is? How this is a clump of solid, and this one is fluffy. All right, I'm going to take my first fluffy, and I'm going to lay it on my table. Now, I think I want another color on mine. Now, this is your butterfly. You get to decide what colors you're using and how many colors you're using. That's up to you. A little closer. All right, so this one is, this is a clumpy one. It's all thick, isn't it? It's too thick. So I'm gonna take a piece of it and I'm gonna make it fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. I can almost see my fingers through it. I can put my hand, I can kind of see through it a little bit. Nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to put that on top of my pink one. I'm going to turn that over. I think the pink is going to be my outside. And I want to see some more of that. So I think I'm going to use even less of the pink. I want to have some of the color showing through. So I can see some purple and some pink. See how thin and fluffy it is? You see that? You can see some of the other color coming through. I think I'm going to have one more color. What color? Oh, maybe a little bit of yellow. That would be pretty. Oh, it's a clump. I don't want a clump. I want some fluffy. That may be kind of long, too. Make it nice and thin. Nice and thin. See how mine is long? I'm trying to make all the pieces kind of long and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. So you can kind of see some of the colors of all three of them. Make sure I can see a little bit of my, my bottom color. I can't see it so much. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of that bottom color and put it on the top too. Nice and fluffy. So I can see some pink. I can see some yellow. I can see some of that purpley turquoisey color. And this is going to be the outside of my butterfly. This is going to be the inside of my butterfly. 
the side you like the best. Yes, Arjun. Uh, uh, butterflies will, uh, the fireflies will be bigger or smaller? That's up to you. You could make a very big one or you can make a very small one. Up to you. All right. Small. When you have all of your, your colors ready, give me a thumbs up so I'll know. Hope does. Madeline does, so does Ayla. Leo does, good. Arjun's working on it, okay. Maya does, good. Tiago does, good. You have all your colors. Give me a thumbs up so we can all be together. How about you, Corbin? Do you have yours? He does, good. Max has his. How about you, Iris? Do you have yours? Yes. Scott, do you have yours? She's still working on it. Do you have a question, Hope? Let's check in with her. Hope, do you have a question? No, okay. All right. So I'm at, this is the outside, the top side on mine. I'm gonna flip it upside down. This is the bottom side. I want the bottom side to be toward me. And then I'm going to get a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to bend it in half and make a little, a little point. So it looks like a V. When you have your pipe cleaner bent, bent in half, give me a thumbs up so I can see. I see Hope's got hers. Arjun's got his, so does Madeline. Looks like Leo does too. Maybe Iris does also. I think Corbin does too. Maya does. Good. Um, how about Max has got his. Sky's got hers. Ayla, do you have a pipe cleaner? No? Okay, so you're going to use some yarn maybe? All right. So I'm going to take my butterfly, the wool part. And watch this. I'm going to get your eyes. Oh, let's get Ayla's. Ayla, make a V. Bend it in half. One point. Then watch my hands. I'm going to put my finger in the middle and I'm going to take one half and fold it over to the middle. Hold your finger there so it doesn't pop away. Take the other half and fold it over to the middle. And then I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to put it around my bundle. Just like that. Make sure that the side that is on that's folded over, you can see a little bit of it sticking out. This is what it looks like on the front side. This is what it looks like on the back side. Corbin's ready. Good. And you have your pipe cleaner over your bundle. Ayla's got hers. Good. Looks like Leo's got his. So does Madeline. Good. Maya's got hers and Hope does too. Good. When you've got it all together, then you're going to, watch my fingers, I'm going to squish it down. Squish, 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 all down to that point. And then I'm going to twist once, twist twice. Twist three times for good luck. You know, Miss Smith does like threes. So that all my wool is in that little bundle. And everything is all tucked in. It's not coming out. It's nicely, nicely um, secure. Oh, that looks good, Ayla. Look at the colors. So beautiful. This is my front side. I can take my fingers and I can move it around a little bit if I want it to be a little more fluffy, a little more like my wings. But I want to make my butterfly fly. Whoops. So I'm going to take, I have ribbon, but you could use yarn. You could use anything that you have nearby. And I'm going to put my ribbon right by my head. 
So all I did was I put it right between my antennas. I'm going to twist once, twice, two twists. And I want to make a knot with my ribbon. I don't want, or my yarn, I don't want it to fall off. I have my two ends and I'm going to bend it over. Whoops. Bend it over and clip it so it looks like a ribbon. And the tiny pieces jump into the hole. Jump and pull. So if I hold it on my finger, it doesn't come off. But butterflies, I think, look nice when they have sort of a curly antenna. So I'm going to take my antenna, that's this part up here, and I'm going to just bend them around so the pokey part doesn't stick me. I don't like it when the pokey part sticks me. There we go. Beautiful butterfly. And I have a stick. Now you could take some tape if you wanted to, and you could tape your ribbon to the stick, or you can twist it around, just so long as you can hold it. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to switch my camera so you can see how it looks. There we go. There's my little butterfly fluttering on my stick. <laughs> but you don't have to have a stick. It's fun to play it with a stick, though. It's more like a puppet than it is on a stick. But I only have one stick. So most of the ones that I make today are just going to be hanging from my finger. And your finger works well, too. I know a little butterfly with dainty, colorful wings. It visits all the flowers. And up and down it swings. It nestles on a buttercup. And gently it does sway until it lifts its golden wings and flutters right away. <laughs> Come on, hold up your beautiful butterflies so I can see all the colors that we've made. Oh, wow! Wow, these are so beautiful. Everyone is different. There are no two butterflies that are the same. It's just like people, right? We are all different too. There's no two of us that are just the same. We're all colorful and every one of us is beautiful. No matter what color we are, no matter how we're shaped. This is kind of fun when I have two, they look like they're dancing together. <laughs> beautiful. That was a good idea, Leo. I hadn't put two butterflies on my stick before you, so that was a good idea. All right, well, let's do our five affirmations. I will treat others the way I want to be treated. I will treat others the way I want to be treated. I will keep on trying because my best keeps getting better and better. I will keep on trying because my best keeps getting better and better. I will practice patience. Oh yes, I will, I will. I will practice patience just as much as you. <laughs> it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. I had to do that because my back was hurting. Mr. Smith had to help me. It's okay to ask for help. I am smart. We all are smart. I love that. So let me turn off our candle. Merry have we met, and merry have we been. Merry shall we part, and merry meet again. With a merry sing song, happy all the day. With a merry ding dong. Again we'll sing and play.